Hi guys. How are you? <clears throat> Get some stuff moved over here. <sighs> Let's see, where am I? Oh, that's not me. That should be me. There it goes. Let's see. Oh, stop, Siri. We're not playing this game tonight. Hi, Denise. How are you? Hi, Linda. Oops. Let's go back to playing. Hi, Donna. Hi, Jen. Hi, Amber. As you guys are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you'd hit it. Hi, Amanda. Hi, April. All A's. Amber, Amanda, April. Hi, Cheryl. Take off the sunglasses. Don't need them now. Ah, okay. How's everybody doing tonight? Ah, I have a minor mess on the opposite side of this camera. It's a good thing you don't see that. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Paul. Hey, Donna. So, yeah, it's kind of a mess here. <laughs> hi, Karen. Hello, April. So, hi, Kathy. Hey, girl. Hey, Jen. As you guys are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if you'd click it. This is not right now. Please don't fall into the water. That would stink. Hi, Sylvia. Hey there. Rainy day here. It's Christmas every day. <laughs> hi, Debbie. Oh, hi, Andrea. Thanks for joining, guys. Hi, Am hi Amy. I'll give it just another minute, and then I'm going to get started. Hey, girl. Um, and remember, as you're coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I'd love it if you click it. And then we're going to go ahead and get going. I'm very excited to show something new. So I'm going to do it in the order that I said I was going to. I said I would show a little small haul that I got. And then we're going to talk about... The transfers and chalk paste and stuff that comes in the new kit. Hi, Chris. Hi, Dawn. And then we should hopefully be doing a small project, God willing. Um, hi, Judy. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I got a little itty-bitty haul today. Um, these were, I was very actually excited to get this because I didn't even get notification that this was coming. So this was a total pleasant surprise when this game ends today. Hi, Sharon. I only knew I was getting, um, stuff for my upcoming weekend, but then I saw this. I was like, what? How awesome. Hi, Sharon. So this was the, one of the transfers that I missed, um, when I was going back over and said, oh my goodness. Oh, wait, no, 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 this might have been, no, 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 this did come out Thursday. I'm sorry, this was one of the ones that came out Thursday. And this is love is a four-legged word, and it is super cute. So now we have three transfers dedicated to puppies and kitties. Hi, RJ, how are you? So um, this one is just super cute. Uh, you can go ahead and put the little faces on. You can do the whiskers. You can do ears. Um, it's a super adorable transfer. I absolutely love it. Um, this would look super cute. Oh, let me move it down. I'm just realizing that I'm putting it in front of my sign. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Christina. As you guys are coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I'd love it if you'd share. Um, so... There's so many cute things you can do on this. So I absolutely love this transfer. Like, look at the little whiskers and the little nose for the little kitty cat. And then you can make like a little little face for the puppy and the different ears. And I, I'm i really not sure what that is. <laughs> Maybe like a collar? I don't know, really. Um, but it's just a great transfer. So hi, Liz. Hi, Meredith. So this is super cute. So this is this is a B-size transfer, so it's $14.99. Remember, Chalk Couture dropped the prices of all of their transfers. The size B got a $3 drop, so they were $17.99. Now they're $14.99. Tell me that's not awesome. Give me some hearts and thumbs up for that comment. Um, this one is B, um, a B-size transfer, and it's called Four-Legged Word, so it's $14.99. It's available in my store, which is in the pinned comment below and in the top of the screen. So now... Look, 
I'm so excited. These are our new couture inks. And I can't play with any of these because these are for my event this weekend. So that way I have some chalk um, ink to offer people so that way they can purchase. But I got to show you just how big these puppies are. These are crazy. Hi, Rachel. Hi, hi, Liz. And these colors are stunning. I can only imagine how vibrant they're going to be on the different... Um, the different uh, mediums that we'll be able to use. So this is the Couture Ink. This is called Regal, and it is huge. Now let me show you what is so awesome about this. Here is our small transfer. Look at that. You're going to be able to fit your small transfer in. No going sideways, no cutting it in half. You can dip the whole small transfer in. Check out the angled squeegee. It's big enough to scoop in now, too. So all of our two-ounce inks and paste. As the paste run out, they're rolling into three-ounce. Now, I already know for a fact black, white, elephant, I believe canary, and bubblegum have already rolled into three-ounce chalk paste sizes. So let me show you something. There was the two-ounce size. Here is the three-ounce size. Tell me that's not awesome. Okay, so these are fantastic. I'm super excited about that. Squeegee. Um, hi, Zebra. Hi, Maureen. So these are, this color is called Regal, and these are all available in my store now, so you can go ahead and grab them. This one is called Midnight Sky. I didn't hold up Regal, so let me show you. So we have Regal and Midnight Sky. Ooh, thanks for all the hearts, guys. And remember, as you're coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I'd love it if you hit it. Then we have Kiwi, which I love. Look how beautiful that color is. If I have any Kiwi Lane designers on, you totally need to purchase Regal and Kiwi, and you could make so many things for your, um, like, for if you're doing events, if you're going to make an apron, if you're going to do, hi, Susan, if you want to make something, like, for your, your area, you want to go Regal and Kiwi. So, like I said, any Kiwi Lane consultants, here's your colors. You need to scoop them up. Then we have um, Fawn. And I think this takes the place of taupe. I haven't gotten my taupe yet, so I can't answer that. Um, but this is super, a super cool color. I really like this. Imagine how nice it would look on like um, a black, uh, black pillowcase or something. This would look real nice. Hi, Tammy. Welcome back. Hello, Susan. This color is gorgeous. This is Couture Coral. Okay. So pretty. So, so pretty. Gosh, I love and then here's Bumblebee, I believe. Yep, it's called Bumblebee. And I love that the this is definitely on the bottom. It's not coming off, so you're going to be able to use your ink and not rub off your new color name. I love that. So these are our amazing new 3-ounce couture ink colors that are available in my online store now. So one more time, we have Regal. So, oops, stay still. Okay, so we have Regal, Kiwi, Midnight Sky, Bumblebee, Couture Coral, and Fawn. Those are the new colors. You're welcome, Tammy. So we got that, and we got the new transfer. So those are, that's my new stuff for my haul. So let's get this stuff actually out of the way, so that way we can talk about what comes in the new designer kit. So I have everything up here. The only thing is, is I can't show you the boards because they are already packed for my vendor event, but you can go online and take a look and see what they look like, even from the picture that I'll post in the comments below once this is done, because you're going to get the white circle board, and then you're going to get the, I believe it's the 8 and 9 by 12 board. Um, but I wanted to show you the chalk paste and transfers um, that you're going to get. So the chalk paste transfers, your squeegees, okay? Um, these are thank you cards. You're going to get 25 of them. You'll get a small squeegee. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Melissa. Aren't they gorgeous, Susan? Um, the angled squeegee. So we have angled squeegee and small squeegee. Thank you cards. You're going to get your apron. Um, like I said, you'll get your two boards. And then you're going to get five colors of chalk paste. So you're going to get, and I try, I have them labeled still because, well, I'm, I label my stuff with the exception of my uh, bubble gum. But you're going to get evergreen, coastal blue, school bus yellow, white, and bubble gum. Those are the five colors you're going to get, which I think, hi, Jen. 
Hi, Shelly. Ordered mine yesterday with designer dollars. Yay for free stuff. I love that, Tammy. Um, these, uh, these colors are perfect for spring projects and for the things that you got in your kit, the transfers that you're going to get. So hi, Debbie. So hi, Linda Davis Rose. Hi, Christy. Hi, Debbie Schneider. So let me show you the different transfers. So you're going to get Sparkle, which is such a cute transfer. This rolled over from the prior um, kit as well. You're going to get, and I already cut mine up, but I'm going to try and show you what it'll look like because I've obviously used this because this actually came, I believe, in my kit as well. I love that they keep rolling this one forward because it really is a great transfer. Um, this one is called Be Unique and Be Beautiful. Okay. So let's try to do it like that. Perfect. So Be Unique, Be Beautiful. This is a great one. Then of the new, tra oh wait, and hold on one more that of an, a transfer set I've already been around, and I apologize, I did cut this up, but this is the logos. So you're going to get this giant circle logo, which if you saw my live the other night where I made a t-shirt, I actually made a chocolate tour t-shirt. Hi, Laurel. Okay. Um, everything but one thing comes in here. I'm going to hide that because that doesn't come with this. So you're going to get the big chocolate tour logo. You're going to get design, love, repeat. You're going to get a smaller chocolate tour word. You're going to get join my team and you're going to get play, share, build. So all of these will come. So these are perfect for you to go ahead and make up boards, advertising your services, use with the Couture Inc. And you can um, create t-shirts. You can create a tablecloth. Hi, Brittany, which I already created a tablecloth back actually with our chalk paste. Um, I watered down a little bit and used a fabric medium and it worked, but I don't have to go through all that anymore and guesstimate and go back and forth and figure out if I had enough. That was, that was kind of difficult to do. Um, and now I would love, after all that hard work, I'm not going to take it off, but I also did heat set. So it's permanent, but goodness gracious, that took forever. Now it'll, it takes all the guesswork out. It's super easy. So logos be beautiful and sparkle so far. These next ones are all from our new launch. So you got, can't touch this. It's super cute. It's a little, um, cactus. So you would lay down your one color and then you can come over with this, whether it be white or um, black and come over it and layer it, which will be super cute um, or even like a darker green, maybe. And it says you can't touch this. And then there's little cactus flowers on here. Then you're going to get all these fun little flowers that you can use. Yes, you used it the other night. Yes, I sure. Wait, which one did I use the other night? Sparkle, be unique. Oh, yeah, yeah, logos. Yes, I did. I sure did. Um, so the flowers, you could use these for when you create classes or offer classes for people to come over or your first um, launch party where you're showing all your new stuff. And that way your people can go ahead and test this out themselves. So they can each take a flower and they can go ahead and play with it. Um, it's super cute. I love this transfer. And if you wanted to go in, oh darn, I already took them downstairs. We have now chalkable chips, they're called. They, um, they, these fit perfectly on it. So that way you can give your people, um, a little chalkable chip and create the little flowers on there. So that way they're getting hands on use with your product. And then that will make your customers want to, to purchase it up because it's awesome. Hi, Debbie. Yes, logo, Susan. You're right. I couldn't remember that quick. I forgot what I was talking about. Um, this one is have an awesome birthday. Happy wish big. It's actually called wish big, but you could totally, um, block out or even if you chalk it our chalk paste comes off with water so no big deal you can have an awesome day you can do have an happy day have a big day you can do so many different things you can make this be for congratulations good luck happy birthday just everyday saying you could use these hi brenda you could use these for so much and i love that it has the cute candles and then the little um pattern you can add to your candles it's super cute and the flame so if you choose to make it like a birthday one it's awesome so there's that one 
And then this one, I think, is going to be the coveted one from everyone because we have been asking for a wreath again. And we got not one, but two wreaths in this launch. So I was super excited. So super excited to do this um, or to see this. So you have your wreath and you have established and then you have your numbers so you can come in and add. Um, this would be perfect for a little housewarming gift or for maybe a bridal shower or to put on a little pillow. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Ka. Um, you could use this for so many different things. So you get seven transfers. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven transfers with your kit. You get your small squeegee, your angled squeegee, your 25 thank you cards, your five colors of chalk paste, which are your evergreen, coastal blue, school bus yellow, white, and bubble gum. And then you're going to get your two boards and your apron. So you get a whole hoop. And guess what? It's only $99. Hello, Carl. $99. Can you beat that? No, you can't. Um, it's worth over 230 So it's a huge savings. And yes, I get people that ask me all the time, do I have to join and, and, and sell and do this and do that? No, you don't. You can just... Come on, become a designer, and you can you you could be a hobbyist. So you could be your own best customer, which is how I started out um, with a, a, another company. I was my own best customer. I never had a single one, but coming to Chocotour, this is something super fun, easy, appeals to all audiences, men, women, kids. Everybody can use this, okay? And you can use this not just for putting on a chalkboard. You could do a chalkboard. You could do wood. You could do plastic. You could do tin. You could do dry erase boards. You could do mirrors. You could do glass. You could do charger plates. And now with our awesome new couture ink colors, you can do it with, um, you could do it on pillowcases. You can do it on t-shirts. You can do it on canvas bags. You can do it on um, mugs, which this mug is not the one that I did because this one I was going to try and go over my other thing. Um, you could do it on so many different things. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, Carm. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Barb. So there's so many different mediums you can work with um, when you decide to become a designer. So like I said, you do not have to be a, um, you don't have to work it as a business. You can work it where you, you know, just maybe want to teach classes with your friends. You could do so many different things. Okay. Hi, Tammy. So that is the new haul and what comes inside the new designer kit. So now should we do a project? I think we should make a project. Don't you? Hi, Diane. Uh, thanks for all the hearts and thumbs up guys. Hey girl. Hey. It is so exciting, Tammy. It's a great time to be a designer. Oh my goodness, it's so awesome to be a designer. Um, so let's put these to the side. So here's what I was thinking. Hi, Gloria. So I need your help with, with making this because if, if you guys watched my live last night, what did I say that I am not good at? That I have no idea what they are. Does anybody remember? I know it's going to be a little bit of a delay, so I'll give it like 30 seconds and see if anybody answers. Um, but... Uh, it's something that I'm going to have a little bit of a trouble, maybe a little trouble with. Maybe not. Um, I may need some help with because, like I said, I'm not very good at playing with these things. Um, let's get this cleaned up so I can move the next thing up. Plants, Karen! Ding, ding, ding! You're the winner. Um, I wish I had something to give you. But yes, yay, Debbie, you're right. Flowers. Hi, Maria. Aloe. Yes, Barb, you're right. So I thought because I don't have plants, I thought I would give this a whirl, but I need help. <laughs> yes, Mary Beth, you are right. Flowers. I am terrible. I am so not a girly girl when it comes to that stuff. Um, yes, Debbie. Yeah, tell me about it, right? Um, so, of course, the board is across the room. Hold on. Could have sworn I moved it right next to me. Clearly, I did not. So, I have this board that I've been holding on to. And, um, yes, knowing flowers. Exactly. You guys are good. You remember. So, I thought, why not try to put these beautiful flowers that I know nothing about onto this board. 
Hi, Maria. So I need your help. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a lot of help here. So let's play, huh? Let's go ahead and play. I just want to play with this stuff. I'm dying to chalk. Dying. I feel like I haven't regular chalked in a little while. I've been playing with the ink a lot lately. Hi, Tiff. So this is going to be fun. Now, guys, remember, as you're coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is a share button. I would love it if it's share. Um, where is my... I just saw my scissors. Here they go. Oops, which just went flying over there. All righty, so let's go ahead. I, there's nothing I love more than cutting up a new transfer. So for those of you... Hi, Sid. So for those of you that have never joined any of my lives and have no idea what I'm doing, this is called Chalk Couture. We sell um, silk screen adhesive back reusable transfers that can be reused over and over and over again. And we sell the chalk paste, which goes on wet, dries hard, um, and can come off with water. And we also now sell Couture ink, which is permanent once it's heat set. Um, to go along with our beautiful transfers. So when you first open a transfer, this particular transfer is called Love Grows Here. It is a C size transfer, which I believe is now $24.99 because like I said, we lowered the prices of all our transfers. Um, so when you first get these transfers and you see, um, I'm trying to hold it so that way you guys can see in my camera. There's lines here, they're cut lines. Um, oops, I need, I'm going to need someone to, Kyle, if you're still on, I need you to keep me honest. I need to be off by 845. It's nowhere near 845. What am I talking about? I was thinking it was 745 when I went live. I went live at, wait, did I go live at 745? Right now. I have to be off by 845 because I had my meeting. Um, hi, Shannon. I love this transfer too. Oh, thanks, Linda. Hi, Steph. So these lines will be your cut line. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a pair of scissors and you're gonna go ahead and cut the transfers that you're gonna use out along the cut lines. Now, some people like to cut straight and be all perfect with it. I'm not that, I'm not, I'm not that, that's not me. I just wanna cut and get right on down to chalking. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start cutting out some of these. Now I may, because like I said, I may not be able to stay on Super long because, like I said, I do have um, my I do have my uh, leadership call this evening, and I have to be on because I got to find out when I'm going to be telling my team. It's always when we get um, awesome news um, about stuff and when we get our training, and then I go in and I offer a team training every Wednesday night after my meeting, and I go over everything with the girls. So I need to represent and be on my call. So what we might do is we might start with the Love Grows here across the top. And we might have to come back and finish this up tomorrow night. But we'll see how far we get, okay? Maybe we'll get the, the pots on and get the Love Grows here on. And we will go from there. Okay, so let's go ahead. Yes, Steph, definitely. Thank you, Tammy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Tammy. A lot of Tammy's on tonight. I think three of you guys. Okay, so Steph, then I think Kyle may have dropped. Can you let me know when it is 745 or 840? Well, 45 of this hour, whatever time it is. I'm not sure where you live. So hi, Claudia. I need it to be 845 Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so we're going to put the, ah, we're going to put them off to the side. And we're going to get this cut out. Go like this, go like this. Okay. So the next step we want to do is we want to go ahead and label the back of the transfers because remember I said these are, hi Heather, remember I said these are reusable silk screen adhesive back transfers. So we need to have the back labeled so we know the right way to put these back on once we're done with them. Now I like to label what it actually is. So that way I put the right pieces back on. So I have Love Grows here. I'm going to say this is going to be pot one. And we're going to say Cactus. <coughs> we're going to say pot two. And you can write on the front of your transfer so that way you don't get it mixed up. A little right. Hi, I'm Peggy. Okay, Liz, perfect. 809. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, 
I hope the bean's on. Tell him I said hi. Aunt Jessie loves him. It's going to be pot three. We'll put a little three on the... That does not look like a three now, does it? That didn't look like a three either, but we'll work with it. So then we have aloe one and aloe two. Let's make sure I, I put it... On. I'm going to think about when I put this on, so hold on. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking I would put this on first and layer that on top. So this should be aloe one, this should be aloe two. So I'm gonna say two and one. Okay, sometimes it's just, you know, trial and error with which labels first. We're gonna just call these dots because it's kind of what it looks like. And we're gonna say half pot. I'll know what that means. Okay, so now, next part was all done. We got them all labeled. So now, we need some squeegees, and we need some little stirry sticks, and we should be good here. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that this is going to fit. So we're going to say love grows here, and we're going to say pot one, pot two. Hi, Tammy. Oh, isn't that great, Sid? It's so awesome, right? Hi, Denise. Hi, Sid. Hi, Brittany. Oh, wait. Hi, Heather. You had me confused with Brittany. <laughs> okay. So then we have pot one, pot two, pot three. I feel like I could do pot one again because it's a little itty-bitty guy. Maybe we're going to do pot one, pot two, pot three, and then we'll redo pot four over here. So I just want to make sure I have them laid out. So, do the aloe over here. Maybe do the cactus in this guy. And we'll redo the other pot over here with the little half shell. Now we need a flower of some sort that we'll put in there. Is this another part? I'm going to call it cactus layer two. And then that's, I think, a cactus flower. And oh boy, I don't know about the next one. Okay, silly, silly question. I don't think this needs this big flower needs to be on a stem. I kind of feel like it would be laying flat. I don't know. We'll check it out. Can it just sit in a pot like that? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. We didn't get there yet. Oh, Steph, you're funny. I am far from organized, I promise you. <laughs> okay, so let's kind of move these guys down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to start working on Love Grows here. Let's get that up at the top first so that way we know how much room we have, right? Now let's talk colors. I kind of almost want to show you that if you get evergreen white bubble gum, bubble gum, school bus yellow, coastal blue, I kind of want to show using... The colors that come in your kit because the colors that come in your kit yes it's a succulent yay hi Shelly yeah last night I didn't know that <laughs> so um, let's start with that let's do love grows here you know what I think I'm gonna do it in regular old white because it will be timeless right so let's try and hold on I'm going to make sure it's straight. And what I else I want to do that I forgot, I want to fuzz this up a little bit. Now, what does that mean to fuzz it up? Fuzz it up simply means take your transfer. Hi, Steph. Yellow is beautiful, Cassandra. Hi, Laura. Um, 
and you want to put it on your, you could tap it to a microfiber towel, you could tap it to your pants, you could tap it to your shirt, but you want to kind of fuzz it up a little bit so that way it's not sticking crazy hard. And then when you place it down, you want to make sure there's no bubbles in your transfer or in your silk screen area. It doesn't matter if there's a bubble here or here in your silk screen area. So we're going to do that. Hi, Donna. Hi, Steph. I'm literally just putting the transfer on my t-shirt here that I'm wearing. So we're going to say love grows here. Did I leave about the same amount of room? I think I did. Looks almost the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and play. Yay, it's time to chalk. Okay, so... I think I said white, right? We're going to use some white. Whoops, that's the wrong white. Need the other container of white stat. Where's that? This has no white in it. It was a cruel joke. That's custard. So now I got a whole jar of white. There it is. So we'll take the lids off so I know. This is new white. This is old white. That needs to be washed out like my lemon. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do it in white, huh? Oh, no. This is empty, too. What is going on? Hold on. I know I just opened a brand new white. What did I do with it? Nope. nope. Hold on. Where's the other? Oh, here it goes. Totally unprepared I am. Still unprepared because that wasn't the one I was thinking. I don't like to have multiple whites open. Because as you can see, seriously, I just opened one. I had to use it for my class last weekend. I swear I'm losing my mind. I'm totally losing my mind. Oh, where are you now at me? <laughs> I always call on her. She always finds my chalk paste. Well, guess I'm opening yet another new white. <laughs> didn't want to do it, but we have no choice. Just make sure it's not in one other spot. Nope, that's sand. Coral. You know, I got this thing, Steph, it cracks me up because you said how organized I am. I got this new container to help keep me organized, and yeah, how about I keep losing all my colors? Don't know how I keep doing it. Okay, new white opening. No biggie. So, these are awesome. It's actually nice. I'm glad I'm doing this because you can see we now have these awesome labels on them. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Alicia. So, you guys will also get to hear how the chalk piece sounds when you're first opening it. Now, watch. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'm going to find the chalk piece. Hmm, silly. Okay. So, when you first open the chalk piece, it looks crazy rough. Okay, and it smells like baby. Oh, how I missed you, chalk paste. Okay, so it looks like it's rock hard. You're going to put your little stir stick in. Now, you're not going to use a wooden stick because wood will draw the moisture out of your chalk paste, and we don't want to do that. Now, do you hear it? Sounds like Rice Krispies. You hear it? There. Now, you want to make sure... You stir until all that Rice Krispie sound is gone. That means you got all the way to the bottom, all along the sides. And when you are done mixing up, your white chalk paste is going to give the appearance of marshmallow fluff. Okay. Still hearing a little Rice Krispies. And now I'm good. Oh, I love playing with new chalk paste. Guys, seriously, smell your chalk paste when you get it and tell me it doesn't smell like a baby. I promise you, it smells just like baby. Okay, so go ahead. Oh, 
get a paper towel here so I can start laying this stuff out. Hi, Sh Shorty. Hi, Kathy. Okay, so let's go ahead and start chunking. Alrighty, so now I'm going to just use a small squeegee that I cut in half, okay? I just cut it in half. I'm going to dip in, and we use the squeegee to take the excess off as well. So remember, I made we made sure there was no um, air bubbles. So all we're going to do is we're going to take our chalk paste and pull it right across the silk screen area. There is no need to waste the paste and go all over the transfer. Just go where the silk screen area is, okay? Now... And see that little bit of chalk paste? I even am going to have excess. See that? Awesome. So now I'm going to keep on going, and I'm going to get to grows. Oh, I probably should take off the love. Let's take the love off. Hold on. And you, what you want to do is you want to have a little vat of water ready, so that way when you pull it up, you can put it right inside some water. Now, I currently do not have water because I'm a bad girl and forgot to fill it up. I only have, like, excess in there, and I don't want that. Now, if you're moving a little slower, you can peel. You do the peel-up method where you peel as you go, so that way you don't have to worry about your paste drying. See, I did the G a little earlier, so I want to just make sure it's all good. Okay, and I'm going to come over and get here done. All my excess off. We don't want to waste any. Look how beautiful that looks. Okay, so we got Love Grows here started. Now, where's my paper towel? Let's get our transfers off to the side. Hopefully this isn't going to bother anybody's sight view. I love the smell of chalk paste too, Karen. It's my favorite. Hi, Lillian. Okay, so we've got Love Grows here. Now, let's go ahead and do some of the containers. I think we will do, let's do these two big guys first, and then we'll come in and do this one because I'm going to scrape it off and come down and pop it down here. Now, remember, this is still wet, so just be careful, okay? Now, I know I'm going to be using a lot of green, so I'll probably try not to do green in the container itself, maybe the layers, um, so that way I know I'll have um, that, like, there and ready to go. Um... I think I will do probably this one. I'm kind of feeling like it should be school bus yellow. I'm not sure why, but that's just kind of the color that I'm 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 digging right now. Um, so let's go ahead and put that down, huh? And I already did something that I didn't want to do, and I forgot to fuzz it up, but it's fine. Okay, so let's come over to school bus yellow. Now, I have not used this color in forever, so it's probably going to be a little chunky. Hi, Mona. Oh, it's really not. Okay, cool. But in the event that it is, all you're going to want to do is take a little water sprayer, okay, and spray just a few sprays, like a quarter. You don't want any more than a quarter teaspoon of, of spray into here, okay? A little bit at a time, okay, because... You don't want to water it down too much. You just want it to be a nice yogurt-like consistency. So now let's get another squeegee. Okay, what happened to all of my, like, bigger squeegees? Where did they go? I don't know what I did with them. There it goes. All right. So let's go ahead, get this on. Just dip it in the chalk paste and put your color on and pull it down. Okay, so like I said, guys, I'm going to try and stick with the colors that come right inside your kit so you have some ideas of things you can do with your colors, right? Okay, we just want to make sure we have no lines. Scrape across. And remember, you want to move swiftly, okay? So that way um, your paste doesn't dry on your transfer because if your paste dries on your transfer, you will not have a smooth transfer over to your board, okay? So there's that. Yay. All right. I'm going to grab ow, some water real quick. Let me just get that real fast because I'm a little worried 
that my transfers are going to get ruined. not the brightest bulb in the box moment I just had guys just letting you know that probably not okay and because I filled it so high I'm gonna just <laughs> walk my transfers over okay and I'll keep the water over here so it doesn't go in any of my electronic stuff I don't want that to happen okay so the next part we're gonna do is we will go, oh, oh, we stubbed my toe. Hi, Ken Hess. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jerry. Okay, so the next part we're going to do, yes, well, not this particular transfer, but the chalk paste colors I'm using, Laura, that's what I wanted you guys to see, that if you get your kit and you want to just add maybe one more transfer to your mix, um, you can use your colors to create this. So that's why I'm going to work with just the colors that come in the kit. That is all. Where is my... Heat gun. Stay over there. Don't move. Okay. I'm going to make sure this is totally dry because I might wind up putting it to transfer over this a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to do this plant, this plant holder thing. How am I doing on time, Liz? Was it Liz that told me the time? can't remember. Woo. Remember, I don't want any bubbles in my silk screen area. I feel lots of them. There we go. I think I got them all out. So now let's do this one, Coastal. Hi, Steph. Hi, Desiree. Oh boy, do I even have any coastal? My coastal is cruddy. I haven't used this in forever, this color. It needs a little help. <laughs> 27 after. Okay, great. Okay, you know what? My coastal might be a little hard, but I think I have just enough to maybe make this work. I just have to move a little bit quicker. And my little stir decided... It does not want to cooperate now. I might be able to make this work. I just might only have enough, though, to do the container. So that's fine. We'll improvise. Oh, no, I'm going to have more, I think. I think it's just extra chalky. This was back from when I first purchased my colors. When we get, we get a 50% off coupon code. And I remember when I got my 50% off coupon code when you first joined, I got all the colors because I'm a paper crafter by nature and we like color choices. So that's what happened there. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely our old, ref not reformulated paste, I can tell. But you know what? I got, an I got enough that I can do something else if I need to with it. Okay. Yeah, I can. See, I knew that was going to happen, but that's okay. I think it adds character. It's fine. So we got this into the water. So now the next one we're going to do is this other um, pot, and we're going to add detail to it. So we're going to do maybe, hmm, how about an, oh, uh, Yellow Coastal Evergreen Bubblegum White. How about we do... How about we make this be... How about bubblegum? We'll go bubblegum, right? We could do bubblegum. I placed my first order and can't wait to get it. I think I'm already addicted as I'm seeing chalk on everything. Yay. Hi, Ian. Hi, Dan. 
Hi, Desiree. I'm glad you joined me for a quick break. Hi, Gina. Hi, Christine. I had my peeps watch me to make sure I get done in time. <laughs> Thank you, Cassandra and Gina. Hi, Gina Ward. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open the bubble gum. Remember, like I said, these are just going to be the colors that will come in your new consultant kit or your new designer kit. Oh, how did I run out of story sticks? Okay, so let's clear off the white real quick. Paper towel. Come on, just get it together. Hi again, Gina. Hi. Oh, I got three Ginas. Hi, all my Ginas. Okay, so let's go ahead and mix up our bubble gum. And we're going to, ooh, look how nice that mixes. Okay, we got it. 8.30 mark. <laughs> Okay, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. Let's see. Okay, another little squeegee. Remember, we're going to dip it in. If we have a little extra, we're fine because we're going to squeegee it right off, right? Right, right, right. And remember, this is the one that I said I'm going to pick up and move to the opposite side, and we're going to use it twice because we're going to do two of these pots with two different designs. Okay, we're going to pick up. And we're going to move. If I can get my chubby fingers in here. Hmm. Come on, Jess. There we go. <laughs> I'm a hot mess tonight. <laughs> Tammy, I'm a hot mess every night. Okay. So, let's go ahead and... Oops, it's not over enough. Okay. sure that I have all of my air bubbles out, which I do not appear to have out. There we go. Our next pot is down. Now, guys, do you see I wiped my fingers all over and it left some color across. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to just take that right off. Okay. It's okay if you're messy. Believe me, I am, like I said, I, I often will refer to myself and you guys can keep me honest that you've heard me say I am messy Jesse at times. Right? Remember, get all of those streaks up, excess back into the jar, and peel your transfer back. Yay, look how cute they look. Love my pots. When do we get our 50% off code? So if you join 213, yay, June 13th. I can't remember when the 13th was. You should have it today. You should be getting it today. Hi, Paula. So it should come through email today. How fun. Okay, so we got that in winter. Now, remember I said I made a little mistake here. I wiped some chalk paste. No big deal. Get a little bit of water on a little paper towel, and look, it'll come right off. So it's no problem. Right? See that? Easy peasy. Now I have some little chalk bugs, but that's okay. Now, let's do our layers here. So we want to make sure that these two are dry, right? Aw, you're so cute, Gina. Too cute. Okay. And you don't want the heat to hit your transfers, guys. Hi, Paula. Because what will happen is it will sh um, it'll, it'll shrink your transfer. It's like a, a material. Okay. We don't want that to happen. Believe me, I speak from experience. I thought, oh, I could take a heat tool and dry these. wrong -o. Not the case. Okay, so we're nice and dry. Now, before I use something that is going to be layered, I always, 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 always um, fuzz it up. Always. Because I don't want the transfer to be too hard and peel up my bottom layer. Okay? Hi, Donna. So let's go ahead and let's add... Our little dots to our little plant. Um, I think I want to use some evergreen now because I haven't really used the evergreen a lot. Right? I'm only going to use it on the plants, but I kind of want to use it on the pots too. Another stirry stick. Where are you? There you go. Alrighty. So now let's get, now even though this is at the very bottom, it's still a beautiful consistency here. 
okay? And if even if you are worried, a little shot of water is not going to hurt. One little shot will make it be even nicer. Okay, so now let's go ahead and I'm going to use an even thinner little squeegee this time because this is a teeny tiny area. Now when you're doing a layer, you want to work quickly and you don't want to scoop as heavy as you normally would off because you don't want to reactivate the paste underneath and take that up, okay? So I'm not going as hard as I typically do when I take off my excess. Kind of, sort of, moving a little bit slower, okay? And I'm gonna just take my time and peel back. Just take your time. And see, I still managed to do it. I didn't get it sticky enough, but you know what, it's okay. I think it looks good. Where are you getting your sticks? Sherry, I will be happy to message you where I get my sticks. Stampin' Up. Oh, my my embossing gun. Oh my goodness, I've had it for a hundred years. I was like, what is she talking about, Stampin' Up? This isn't Stampin' Up, this is Chalk Couture. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and let's fuzz this guy up real good. I didn't fuzz up the first one real good. I'm going to pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down a few times to make sure it's definitely... Definitely good this time. So I'm going to line it up along the edge and I'm going to use the evergreen again. And I'm going to go ahead and put my color down, pull it across. And remember, like I said, I'm going to try to not pull as heavy off like I did the first time because we want to not peel off the bottoms. Okay, but I also don't want to have any lines, which I don't have. And I did go off the transfer a little bit, but I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I did it again. Ah! I wonder, you know what? This time it actually wasn't dry. <gasps> yeah, it's definitely not dry. Look at that. That was my mistake. Oh, I stink. Eight minutes. Ah! Can I tell you? I thought it was a leaf. Duh. Ah! <laughs> Um, oh my gosh. Okay. 36 after, which means I have about five more minutes that I can do eight more minutes. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to, um, we're going to just leave that like that because unfortunately it was still wet. That was my mistake. I didn't come in and touch it. Like I did the first one. Womp womp. So let's go ahead and let's do the aloe. Now here's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to actually, and I'm going to do it right on my board because it'll come off anyway. I'm going to mix up a little bit of, did I say I was going to do it in this one or this one? Where did I say I was going to do it? I think it's too high for there. So let's put it here. And silly Jess, not, not fluffing it up either. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Karen. Don't pay attention to the bottom right-hand side pot. I made the boo-boo. Forgot that it was not dry. Womp womp. Okay, so this is fuzzed up. Now, whoops, that's too far down. Okay, making sure there's no bubbles in my transfer area. Okay, I don't care if there's bubbles on the outside like there is right there. Now watch what I'm going to do. Because I kind of want this to be, well, this layer, okay, no, 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 it's not going to be this layer. I think it's going to be the next layer. I'm going to mix a little green of the evergreen and a little of the white off to the side to make it a lighter color because you guys won't have two colors in your kit. But I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to do that to do like a little shadow technique, which is why we've got the two layers of this aloe is what I'm, like I said, I don't know plants, but I would imagine there's two layers for a reason. Um, or two sets of transfers here for a reason. So I'm going to show you how we're going to make it a lighter color. Now, I may not be able to do it tonight. We might have to finish this up tomorrow, and I will not I will not um, work on it while um, you guys are not with me. I will wait until tomorrow, and it will be like a continuation. Okay. Piece our excess off, no lines. We look good. Let's peel it up. Oh, that looks 
looks great. Maybe I am going to start liking plants after this one. Are those transfers supposed to be in water? Yep, they sure are. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Cindy. I'm putting them in there now. I wanted to just get these other guys done really quickly. And because, like I said, I filled my water up a little too high coming in here, and I didn't trust myself near all the electric. All I could see was that I was going to trip, because we all know that I am accident prone, and it would go all over my phone, and then I would cry, because then you guys wouldn't see me anymore. So, we've got this going. We've got it started. I am keeping this one just like this, because I think it looks great. This one needs to be redone, so we will come in. I'm going to leave this be exactly as it is for tonight. Um, I am going to take this away. We'll redo it tomorrow, but let me show you how easy it is when you're ready to take a design off. All you got to do is spray it with some water and we're going to take this guy off just like this. Little water. Wipe away. I'm just moving a little slower because I don't want to affect my awesome, um, aloe plant because that is turning out pretty good so far okay another little towel we got Alrighty. and look at that we're cleaned up and we are ready to come back tomorrow to finish it up so I hope you guys will join me tomorrow evening I will finish up I will show you how we're going to create a lighter green with our green chalk paste or evergreen chalk paste that you would receive in your new designer kit um and we will go over all that but look how good it looks so far guys i love it i'm like a not a flower girl so this is pretty exciting for me hi sally hi melia oh my god yes gotta go guys i have my team meeting i'm so excited i love it i love when we have our meetings so make sure you check back this guy is looking awesome. This is going to be all great. And then, we, of course, we have our Love Grows here that looks super good. Um, and we'll be finishing this up tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Oh, I will, Deb, I will, anybody that said they want info on the sticks, I will message you the link of where I've gotten them um, as soon as my meetings are over, okay? So take care, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.